Hey, so in this video I want to talk about consistency and why it is a, it's absolutely crucial to just everything. Because, you know, as they say, consistency is key. And it really is. It really is key. It is 100% true. So I want to start off by telling you a little bit of something that, that I encountered early on. So when I started guitar, the first thing in the book said that it's better to practice 30 minutes every single day than two hours every four days. As we know, that would, that would be the equivalent of each other, right? Because 30 minutes every four, on a, like every day for four days and you get two hours, right? So if you just do two hours on the fourth day and then two hours on the next fourth day, then yeah, it's the equivalent, right? But not necessarily, not necessarily. That would be like me posting one video every four days, right? It wouldn't nearly gain as much, like, it, it could be a really, really, really big video and a quality video and a, just a lot of effort put into it. And that's, that's a good video, right? And that's not like an arguably horrible way of doing things, but it won't gain as much as if I covered a bunch of different topics in shorter s spurts, right? Unless I, I'm, like, unless I uh, was really, really good at just nailing down everything that was a trend and then talking about that for four hours, uh, for two hours every four days, you know, that's, that's hard to do. You can't nail down every single trend. You can't nail down every single thing that's going to pop off perfectly. Right. And, th and that's fine. I'm not saying I want to, but I'm just saying that that, that, that method requires a lot of, it requires a lot of, you got to have the perfect video, perfect time, perfect topic. <laughs> you know, it's not good when you could just spread yourself out across four different topics for a short to the point video like this. And then in the, pa in the past four days, I've, well, not exactly, but I've had videos four in a row where they've been different topics each and they all cover different things, but they cover them quick. They get to the point and it works better because it grabs an audience better. And then once that happens, you, you just grow faster instead of posting once every four days, a two hour long video about how, one thing is there are about one topic, but only every four days that'll only cover one, one single genre every four days, one topic every four days, one group of people every single four days, instead of doing four people every four days, you, you, you could see how that might be a little better, right? So it covers more bases. That's, that's the first thing covers more bases. And it's, mo and it's mostly about what, when you do it rather than how much you do it. It's more or less just get in some every single day, then get in none until the fourth day, you know? Because then when you do that, you actually start to grow that muscle, mem uh, that muscle memory. You start to remember the song because you can't f you'll forget it after four days. So consistency is absolutely crucial in at least guitars and YouTube, but in everything else, I'm... I'm confident because it is. So, it is. Anyway, it, it, I also want to talk uh, talk about how it is absolutely it, like it is the best thing for making a proper structured day. And also, having a structured day keeps your life in order, and that's that's super valuable. That's super super valuable. So, one of the best things you can do is get your life in order and have a scheduled day. So in order to do that, you you have to have consistency. You have to have things that you do every day that are consistent. You have to have a schedule that is consistent, that doesn't just fluctuate, you know? Like if you work out every two days, that's still consistency. But if you just work out one time randomly throughout the week, that's not consistent. So then you're gonna you're gonna be worse at your workouts they're not going to be as effective and yeah, like, I could go on, but basically not as good, right? Because it's spontaneous. It's whenever and it's not good. Same with it, like, imagine if that was your job, actually. Imagine you just showed up to work at any time in the week. You didn't have to, uh, you didn't have to show up at any specific time. You kind of just guessed at it. Well, you know, you get fired. That's pretty simple. So don't do that. You have to show up. You have to stay consistent. And you have to work good. 
So it's perfect for setting your life in order. And it's just perfect for for keeping your day packed. I talk about that a, a good chunk, actually, because keeping your day packed and purposeful is something that's really, really important to almost everything you do. Whether And that could come down to just breaking addictions or setting goals or whatever it is. If your day's packed and purposeful, life becomes a lot easier. And it becomes a lot simpler to just exist and go to sleep every night knowing that you did a purposeful thing. Like this, this is the last thing that I have to do today that I absolutely have to do. Because I made it that way. I made it that this is something I have to do. Otherwise, I don't sleep good, right? So... This is the last thing I have to do today that I absolutely have to do. And then I get to work on my crafts right here and I get to do whatever I want. It's like three, I think, maybe four. So I have until like 10 to do whatever I want after this video, which is perfect, right? Because I've set my life in an order so that my goals can be done in the day. And then I just have all this time and I get to go to sleep knowing that I did all my goals. So you have to stay consistent with your goals because you'll just feel better. You'll do better. You'll just be better. And that's another thing too with goals, actually. It helps you set bigger goals because it brings you down to reality and kind of makes you think about how, how many goals you can set and how big they're going to be, right? Because if you can stay consistent with five things, let's say, then why can't you stay consistent with six or why can't those five things be longer? Because you'll find you'll have extra time in the day. So you can add in another thing. Or you could um, you could invest more time, more energy into one of these things. Because you really want to improve it. And then boom, you just set a higher goal. So it really helps you bring yourself to reality. when you're Because when you're first starting goals, you, you might have that mindset where it's like, I don't have enough time, or I don't have enough energy, or I can't fit it in, or I can't do it. But then once you kind of start with a baby step, you'll see that the baby step is achievable. So let's take another step, which is achievable, and then another, and another, and another, and another, until you're eventually high up enough that you can't really go any further, which I haven't even gotten there, so I don't even know if there is a point. It doesn't seem like there's anywhere you stop when you're playing guitar or doing YouTube. You could kind of just keep going. So, so yeah, it's like, even for those two examples, it's just keep setting higher goals because I'm consistent here, so now I know that I can do more that I can talk about more and I can be more in depth when it comes to these videos. So, you know, it's, it's like, it's, it's quite the reality breaker, the mold breaker, you know, it kind of shows you what you, what you can really do. And I should also add too, when I first started out on this, I didn't think it was going to be really achievable to do one a day, let alone in depth, really, to be fair. And that yet again, after I kind of beat the consistency of it, I beat the current consistency level I was at. I started to realize it's more than achievable. I could do two a day if I wanted to. I don't really know if I should because I like this style. But I could do two, maybe three a day. Now I know because I'm consistent. I wouldn't have known that if I wasn't consistent, right? So consistency is absolutely crucial to just everything you do. You learn better. You grow better. You know how to set better, uh, bigger goals. You know how to how to do your your stuff better. It's just it's just better. So so be consistent. And in that, I want you to do something. I want you to do a couple things actually. First off, I want you to find something that you can do. That you can just do every day. I want you to find like a like a book or a craft or. I don't know, like a like meditation or prayer, some ritual, right? S something, something you can do every day for at least a little bit every day, 30 minutes. An instrument, journaling, I don't care, just pick one. They're all good, so pick one. I want you to pick it. I want you to fit it into your day at like 30 minutes minimum. And then just keep it going. Keep growing that goal. And yeah, see where it takes you. See where it takes you. And then the other thing I want you to do is I want you to take the things that you're lacking on, the things that you should be consistent on that you're not, if you if you are, of course. And so so if you are lacking on like working out or playing your your music your instrument or doing some form of work, I want you to stop 
but whatever it is right now, and if it's possible to fit 30 minutes of whatever you're doing, I want you to fit it right now. Click off this video and fit the 30 minutes in of you playing a, an instrument or writing that book or just working on that craft. Just do it. Whatever you're lacking on, just do it. Or like, like even, even start like a basic workout right now too. I don't know what time it is for you, but like if it's late, just, just go do 10 push-ups. That's all. And, and then you can say that you're kind of getting consistent again, right? So, so go do 10 push-ups and that, that's all. So yeah, I think I covered every single base, just consistent, be consistent, pick 30 minutes, pick a low goal, do it every day for a week, increase it a little bit every day for a week, increase it a little bit. And then eventually you'll look back like five weeks later and you're like a fucking Greek God. And that's that. So, so do it. And yeah, that's, that's all. That's all. Take care my friend. I hope this helps you a lot.